Right, we want to win with yellow circle lamb burgers. There's a picture of a lamb burger. 30% chance of winning. New triple lamb burgers now come with a sequin token in the pack. There are three shapes, hearts, circles and squares. Each shape comes in one of four colours. Red, yellow, blue or purple. So we've got three shapes, hearts, circles and squares and each shape comes in four different colours. So we've actually got a possibility of 12 shapes. So it's only one out of the 12 that's actually a yellow circle. All you have to do is buy a triple lamb burger and if you get a yellow circle you will win a free lamb burger. So the question is, is it 30% chance of winning or is it misleading? So here's our 30%. 30% is actually only 3 out of 10 or 0.3. Okay, so here what I've said is there's one, this one here, the yellow circle, out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So there's one yellow circle out of 12. So in actual fact, that's 1 12th which if you put into your calculator, you end up, one. if you go 1 divided by 12, you get 0 0.08333 recurring, which I've just rounded 0 0.08, which is the same as 8%. Okay, so 0 0.08, 1 12 and 8% is essentially the same number. Now the ad claims 30% chance of winning. So the 1 out of 12 is not 30%, which is 3 tenths, 0.3. Okay. So to get an achieved, this is what the marking schedule says, you have to state that 1 12th, which is about 8%, not 30%. And that means that you have calculated a probability to make a valid conclusion. Now, if you use probability theory to make a valid conclusion, this means you've said there's three types of tokens, the hearts, the circles and the squares, in total and only uh, and four colors making 12 different tokens so if you did this picture you're actually using your probability theory you're kind of explaining so I guess really if you explain how you calculated what you calculated you've gone already up to merit okay now for excellence the calculation assumes that each of these tokens exist in the same number. But what if they don't? It could be that they actually print, make sure that 30% of the tokens are yellow circles and they're not lying, but it's a bit weird. Or, they can, oh, more yellow circles is there. Um, and the other thing you could say is that perhaps the 30% implies only to the chance of getting a circle since it's 33 percent may have been rounded but it says 30 percent chance of winning and you actually have to have a yellow circle to win so i think that's a bit stupid myself um so basically one valid extra comment so i think with this if you state the obvious so if you put one twelfth that's a fail all right you need to say the probability of winning would appear to be 1 12th, not 30%. So it would appear to be roughly 8% instead of the 30%, much lower. So the, that is actually misleading. So you need to state, you need to actually put sentences, not just probability, but what that probability is for and how what number on the ad it compares with. And then for merit, you actually need to explain how you got that probability. And for excellence, you're looking outside the square and saying, well, hang on, they may, it doesn't say in there, these guys may not be, may have the same number of each token. I hope that clarifies something for somebody. Cheers.